Hi everyone, it's Misha. In today's video, I'm going to be featuring something interesting I found on the internet. Today, we're going to be looking at a specific Etsy store. I found this store a few years ago. I think it was featured on Regretzi, if any of you know what that is. Regretzi is a, was a website that featured and made fun of different Etsy products and stores. And, uh, as, as you'll see in a second, this, this store was for Regretzi, although I think most of them didn't quite uh, get it. So the gentleman I'll be featuring today is General Notion. In his about section it says, As Dr. Faust Trull said, I was born 42 years old and my age has never changed. In Norwegian, never etymologically means of no age. So said, my age has in no age changed, which is true, just like an arrow shot into the air at any moment is standing still. He says his favorite materials is earth. If I were to click on this, it would take me to a page that would show other things made out of Earth. Let's see what it says. Ah. Middle Earth. Middle Earth. The moon and the Earth. Okay. I want to look at some of these, but later. Anyway, this is his profile. So we can go to his shop. General Notion Store. In the description, he says, What are those doodles in the banner? Scattered papers from the recy recycle bin. Pieces of brain, floating clouds. We try to sell a bit of everything, and for a price everyone can afford. His shop sections are Shop Home, General, Knitting slash Crochet, Paper, worms, keys, and wool balls. I think we should check out the paper. Let's look at this one. This one is titled, Four Pieces of Paper That Look Like Clouds for $3. Item details. Pieces of paper torn by hand into the shape of clouds. Bonus, the paper from which they were torn. I categorize them as paper sculpture art. This item was my first sell on Etsy in 2009, I think, in my super admin shop. I was very happy selling it to an American curator. For this item on sale here, I will tear the paper as accurately as possible to make a duplicate of the original four pieces of paper that look like clouds. Tags, paper goods, paper making, art, sculpture, paper, cloud, home decor, mobile, simple, big business, ephemeral, white. Materials, paper. And this is what they look like. So that's a good example of what his shop is like. All right. Let's look 
Look at keys. This one is titled Key to an Unknown House. You can buy it for a dollar and thirty cents. We were discussing selling our passwords on Etsy, or old keys, as a start. Here is a key I made in the paint program. It's digital, so if you want to buy it, you right-click and download the key. Remember to buy it first or after, or never, then, if you prefer not to. So here you see the key from different sides. You might need one or the other, depending on which way the house turns, and on how you hold it when you want to put it in the lock. The last perspective is when you stand in front of the door with the key inside and have to turn it around to open the door. Then you use this last image, okay? With this, you should be okay. P.S. When you want to turn the key after having put it inside the lock, you have to use the third image. I think he's referring to this. It's just these pictures are the key different angles. PPS. When we look at it now, the key, it seems a bit scary, like if it were to open a house of horrors. But we deny that. It's unintentional. I was excited about the bunny. As a famous Sufi parable teaches, it's as though we've lost our house key somewhere on the road, but we've only been looking for it near the street lamp, because that's where the light is. In this case, you have found the key, but not the house, because there's not even street lights. The key to the unknown house could also double as a personal security device, due to the jaggedness of the key's teeth. Melissa added that part. very interesting item. It does have very jagged teeth. I wonder how difficult it would be to fit that, to pick that lock. I learned how to pick locks once. I only ever used it for getting back into my apartment when I locked myself out. I was too chicken to do anything else. Worms. Okay, let's look at this one. This one is titled Banana Peel Worm Photo. Two dollars and five cents. Piece of banana peel that looks like a small worm. Digital photo. Right click to save the full size image. I don't think I can sell the banana peel worm itself on Etsy. Integrity wrote me and suspended my shop due to some problems with my shop. I guess that banana peel worm might be one of the causes, but the photo should be okay. There's the banana peel worm. I would right click and download it, but I haven't purchased it yet. Pack of ten worms for fishing bait, knitted, for three dollars. Around ten textile worms in a pack. The worms are knitted, crocheted, collected from different yarns and ropes. Pale brown, red-pink color. Good fishing. Here's the worm. Here's a long crocheted worm for two dollars. This might be around thirty centimeters and has two horns. If you've never seen a worm with horns, then this is your first time. It comes in a plastic showcase with a hole so you can hang it somewhere when you're not using it. Thanks to Anna for providing this item for the store. 
kind of made this warm. I love this stuff. I love it. Hat for the cat. Five dollars. Poor cat, purr. He was sleeping. Well, he continued sleeping throughout the small photo session, so I guess all is okay. No animal was ridiculed making this product. Purr is pretty cool and bohemian in this outfit, in my honest opinion. The joke is on us, he would say. Our patient shop assistant, Anna, crocheted this hat, whether it was on purpose or it later turned out to be a hat for the cat with capital letters. This was a couple of years ago. In two years is the time it takes our products to reach the store, and who knows how long to reach their new owners, cats, and what else. Estimating a couple of years on the shelf, the price is adjusted for repeated Etsy publication fees. Uh, $0.2 times 7, and inflation of time, value, space towards the entropic equilibrium. What I haven't told you so far is the real function of the hat for the cat, but since you've been so kind and read the product and read the product description all the way down here, I'll let you in on it. It's an exobrain, a brain on the outside of the body. It will make your cat smarter, we believe. A thinking hat, like those you can read about in the cartoons. Gyro, Gyro Gearloose of Disney has some kind to give him inspiration. A birdhouse exobrain, including the birds. I don't know exactly why, but Purr's owners believe that he's somehow a dumb cat who doesn't understand a lot of things. Maybe with this hat he could get on the ball and perform intelligent tasks for his owners for some reason. The proof that the hat is working is in the pictures themselves. A content and happy cat, sleeping through the nonsense its owners and friends, us are dumb enough to occupy themselves with. Exobrain, anyone else? He's contemplating. You can actually hear my cat in the background, I think. That is purr. That's his hat. This one is called Bolitas Kit. Three dollars. A bag of wool balls. Bolitas. CA. I don't know what that means. Ten units. These come from socks. If your clothing doesn't make wool balls, Hacer Bolitas, even if the seller assured you that it would after washing and usage, you find yourself in a perfect rut. Aware which doesn't wear. Given the contemporary simulation of useless objects into already worn and torn to make up their ideality or objectivity at all, we propose the alignment of wool balls to accompany ever so long sentences of wear some wear. The kit manual will explain in proper Bodrier <laughs> in proper Bodrierardian terms <laughs> how to attach the wool balls to your clothes. The manual will be written in the future, always in the future, of another parenthesis. Were you ever afraid of incorrectly paired parentheses? Let's say we suspend the right parentheses and leave you hanging like in a Hitchcock movie. There's four parentheses opened there, and none of them are closed. That is, that is a little... The wool balls rub off on paired perfection, like a collection of right-only parentheses dangling right off the blinking cursor. That is a quote from a secret admirer of Bolitas. 
in parenthesis uh, one parentheses. I'm also selling the plural of verbs and the plural of plurals. You didn't think they existed, but hey, we learn every day. And then there's a bunch of parentheses closed at the bottom. This is this is art. It's uh, absurd. <laughs> but it really... It's... Oh, it's hard to describe why I appreciate it so much. <laughs> I just do. I love it. Okay, we looked at keys, we looked at worms, we looked at paper, we looked at knitting. Oh, general. Okay, we haven't tried this one yet. This should be interesting. This is a Reiki reading for a dead fly. It's a zine. It's a dollar and ninety-five cents. I'll write and send you something for your dead fly. Who hasn't killed a fly at some point? Spiritual reading, if you believe flies have spirit. Well, it doesn't matter if you believe or not. Why should the state of the fly depend on your belief? So even if you don't believe that flies have spirit, or in spirit in general, or in anything at all, the fly can still benefit from this healing Reiki reading. Who knows? The fly would know if it works or not. If it works, it will know. And if it doesn't, it won't know. And that's what matters. The zine is a digital instructional booklet of nine pages, including graphics. Sends an email as an attachment. Look at this. Step six. Well, maybe it's time to have a look at the fly again. Have a look at it. It has a body. Insects look so contracted to us. Black. Humans are soft, bulgy, and pink. Head, thorax, abdomen for the fly. Humans have shoulders, neck, chest, arms, hands knees, legs, foot, feet, ankles. It seems strange to put them side by side. So there you are, a human with a fly in the palm of your hand. How many life forms there are, all kinds. How old is the fly as a life form? They are from the middle Triassic, 230 million years old. Humans are 200,000 years old only, and just 50,000 years old reaching full behavior modernity. So, this guy we see in the picture is 50,000 years old, while the fly we see is 230 million years old. The fly you have in the palm of your hand, I mean, is 230 million years old. It's crazy. There's a dead fly. You probably can't see it, but that's what that is. <laughs> this seems to be some sort of uh, work in progress shot for the zine. Step one is make sure you're dealing with a dead fly. The animal kingdom is big. There's no guarantee that what you're holding in your hand is actually a fly at all. Secondly, make sure it's dead. How do you know the fly is dead? Swat it a couple of times to make sure. I think I'm actually going to purchase this, because why not? Materials are spirit, digital, and zine. Note to general motion. I am interested in the fall zine. My email.
Alright, I bought that scene. I'm actually pretty excited. Maybe I'll go through it in another ASMR video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little feature. I, um, uh, I actually, I find very interesting little f things all over the internet uh, a lot, fairly frequently. Um, if you like this type of feature, let me know, and I may do some more. Thanks, guys.